Mr. Maher, the current protests in India are supposed to be about the Citizenship Amendment Act. And before your congregation starts dropping N-bombs, I request them to watch this first. TLDR, any comparisons with Nuremberg laws is just liberals fascinating about a holocaust so that they can swoop down and save the world. In reality, even a casual observer of Indian politics from anywhere on the political spectrum will agree that these protests were brewing for a much longer time than meets the eye. Just the tip. हम बर्दाश्त कर गए थे पर तलाक तुमने पास करा लिया क्योंकि हम इस देश में अमन और शांति को बहाल रखना चाहते थे हम बर्दाश्त कर गए थे 370 की कुछ नहीं बोला हम बर्दाश्त कर गए कि बाबी मस्जिद का फैसला प्रेशर में तुमने अपने पक्ष में करा लिया लेकिन अब तुमने हमें भारत का मानने से इंकार कर दिया है इसलिए आखिरी बात कहता हूं मैं आपसे मोदी जी अब हम उठ गए हैं अब इस युद्ध में या तो पूरी तरीके से हम जीतेंगे या पूरी तरीके से हम हारेंगे जीते तो वतन मुबारक हारे तो कफन मुबारक हारे तो कफन मुबारक द करंट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट has brought a lot of these complex decades old issues to a close stuff that most indians had filed away with that dress that broke the internet under stuff that can never get dissolved for context imagine you guys woke up tomorrow and the us senate votes overwhelmingly and across party lines to defang the nra and then in the same evening votes unanimously to make it illegal for insurance companies to administer americans their medical bills rectally even bernie or any self respecting liberal would be hard pressed to agree with the indian government's position on every one of these events already there if only they bothered to stop listening to that one voice in their head that speaks with a frank underwood accent scratch my back i won't and recognize radio. india for what it is a vibrant secular successful democracy look 272 million people voted for the current indian government or one hillary one donald trump one obama one mitt romney one third mccain and a partridge in a pear tree so dear white people before you decide that one hillary one donald trump one obama one mitt romney one third mccain and a partridge in a pear tree are nazis listen to this message from a brave kid who fended off an armed attack by non muslims twice it's a turf war on a global scale i'd rather hear both sides of the tale Thanks Macaulay. Listening to all sides of the tale is really what being liberal is all about. And because you spoke the truth, somebody is already out to discredit you. So here's the other side of the tale about events leading up to the riots in Delhi. The first is easy. As a liberal, you must agree that that was a good thing. The second has been made unnecessarily complicated. You can watch a crisp video for the argument here. TLDR Kashmir is an open wound from a partition that was not our idea white people made the rules we have followed every single rule to AT and those same white people rules say that we have and i choose my words carefully earned the right to exercise our discretion in Kashmir the third needs its own episode but if you are against carelessly destroying iconic things that belong to all humanity Then you already agree with one Hillary, one Donald Trump, one Obama, one Mitt Romney, one Third Reich, and a partridge in a pear tree. One Hillary, one Donald Trump, 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 and a partridge in a pear tree.